Stephanie Schichtel, and I'm doing a National History Day documentary on the spies of Mississippi, how they did wrong. I'm in the junior division. The spies of Mississippi were not to be trusted. They exchanged private information about other people. This network of spies was created in 1956 to get the information on people before the civil rights. They explored people's files to see what they might do in drastic measures. They tried to get the dirt on people who were for the civil rights, who had helped the African-American community escape the unfair laws. They encountered lots of interesting people who would either be against them or with them. They started up when J.P. Coleman was elected into governancy in 1956. He was a segregationist and was not going to help the African-Americans with their battle. He thought that the spy corporation would help him, but they did not. They were the bad people. The spies in Mississippi had to explore the personal files of other people to see what they would do in desperate moments during the civil rights. They did this to see what people are likely to do in drastic measures, what they might resort to. They also did this to get contact information, like where they lived. Some people, mostly African Americans, thought that the spies were bad. But most of the whites in the community liked them. They thought they were doing a great job with helping them win the fight between the African Americans and the whites. Most of the people who did not like the spies were African American. They thought they were downright disgraceful. They did multiple protests against them so that they would be even more discovered to the public. The people who did not like them were not a part of the, of the spies. They were, Af they were mostly African American and they were doing what was right by standing up for themselves. The spies in Mississippi encountered different people with the business they had to attend to. They had to get the information on people and like when they followed them. People, they met people who would either get them in trouble or help them. The people who did not like them would mostly try to stop them from finding out where the African Americans or people who were for the civil rights were meeting and were planning their protests. The spies in Mississippi encountered people that might like what they were doing and won't try to stop them and will just let themselves go their separate ways. The spies in Mississippi exchanged private information about other people. They had to exchange the information about other people so that they thought they needed special attention. The spies met up with each other and didn't worry about anything getting lost or getting or didn't worry about getting caught. Some of the spies were African American. They also exchanged information on the whites in the community. They hired some African Americans to spy on the whites that they thought were doing not the right things during that time. They just wanted to know what people were doing and how they could help themselves or their community, even though they were on the wrong side. Most of the spies were against the civil rights movement. They were mostly white, too. They wanted to see most African-American people go down on the civil rights movement. They also were not as nice as the African-Americans were to others. They did more devious things, and they wanted to keep the unfairness going for the African-Americans. They did not believe in fairness to other people. The spies in Mississippi all felt very strongly about something, and did the people who were opposed. They thought they were doing something right. They believed in what they thought was right to do in the act. Some of them did not do the right thing by leading protests, but some of them did do the right thing by so stopping protests that could have gone to dangerous or violent situations. They did, they did spy on people, which was not the right thing, but some of them might have helped people too. They sat in on meetings that the African Americans held and they took notes on what they were planning. They did not try to give themselves away. Some of them were African American and they did not stand out from the meetings because of their race. The white spies did not stand out either because, but they just had to try to agree with everything. But some of them were not spies. Some of the white people were not spies. The spies in Mississippi were supposed to help the government and win the 
fight between the African Americans and the community during the discrimination race. They were started in the, for the government and by the governor himself, J.P. Coleman. He thought they would be a great deal of service to him when he needed information. The spies in Mississippi had done the unthinkable to see what they had to see the information that they had, that some people got arrested or stopped. They did this to inform the government and the people too about what people who are planning violent protests or just to stop them. And some of them did not do it because of what they thought. They did it to help their families and raise money. As William Tecumseh Sherman said, I hate newspaper men. They come into camp and pick up their camp rumors and print them as facts. I regard them as spies, which in truth, they are. This was a, a wonderful quote because this is what most people thought of the spies of Mississippi. They thought they were disgraceful and not okay to have in the community. There will always be spies. You have to have them. Without them, we wouldn't have got awesome, awesome Bin Laden. It took us years, but it happened. By This was quoted by Gary Oldman. He thought that it represents how all the people in the community, while some of them started to respect the spies, some of them started to accept them in the community, but they still did not like them. They still led protests against them, but they still tried to do whatever they could to stop them. The spies in Mississippi were bad people. They did not do what was right. They invaded space by exploring people's files when they didn't know it. They just believed in something. Sadly, they believed in the wrong thing. They encountered wrong people, and they exchanged information of other people who did not know it, and some of them did not either that they were doing the wrong thing. Also, some people did not like what they did and why they did it. They encountered people during the business they had to do, during the jobs they were assigned to go on to. Do, 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 do.